Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. And we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Manny Pacquiao will end Adrian Broner's career. Uh, why am I saying this? Because <laughs> we see what Manny Pacquiao did to Lucas Matisse. And everybody was saying, was saying Lucas Matisse was going to walk through a uh, uh, old Manny Pacquiao, and uh, it was actually the reverse. Manny Pacquiao kind of walked through what seemed to be an old Lucas Matisse. You know what's crazy about that fight is uh, if Lucas Matisse would have won, nobody would have been saying he was old. You know, everybody everybody kind of say he, uh, he gave up in that fight, but. If he'd have won, then everybody had been saying Manny Pacquiao. Well, we all knew Manny Pacquiao was old. So, you know, Lucas Matisse doesn't deserve any credit for this win. That's what they'd have been saying. <laughs> I mean, that's how it goes in boxing, you know. So, But I think Manny Pacquiao, I think this would be Adrian Broner's last fight. You know, Adrian Broner hasn't been really active. He's had more of an active rap career over the past few years. <laughs> He has boxing career, so I don't think he'll. Uh, I don't think he if he loses this fight, even if Pacquiao doesn't knock him out, I th if even if he wins by decision, I think this is Adrian Broner's last fight. I don't think we're gonna see AB in the ring anymore unless he wins decisively, unless he knocks Pacquiao out or something. I think this is AB's pretty much the end of the road for AB. I mean, even though he's popular as a, you know, African-American fighter, black fighter, but he has a fan base that's bigger outside of boxing than at his actual boxing fan base, you know. Most of his fans are basically disgruntled Mayweather fans, you know, fans of Mayweather who really don't really dig Mayweather too much no more, so they jumped on the A-B train, so... I mean, it is what it is. A.B., I like A.B. He's a nice, he's a, uh, but like I just said, I like him more outside of the ring. Not, I like him in the ring because he don't really take boxing as seriously. It seems like he takes rap music more, <laughs> more seriously than he does his actual boxing career. But, uh, you know, shout out to A.B., man. You know, I like some of his music, too. You know, I can't even hate. I don't listen to a few of his songs. You know, his little goofy little songs. <laughs> A little trap music, you know, he a hood dude, man, so it's hard to, you know, the difference between A.B. and Floyd Mayweather is Floyd Mayweather is not a hood dude, you know what I'm saying? Hood dudes respect hood dudes, so Floyd Mayweather is not a hood dude, he's just an arrogant, rich boxer, and it turns a lot of people off. If, if Floyd Mayweather was, was you know, who he is, but wasn't as rich as he is. Like, he had all those wins, but wasn't as rich as Floyd Mayweather actually is. Nobody would care about him. Nobody would care, but because he created the money, uh, you know, the uh, Money Mayweather uh, character, you know, it turned him into a heel and uh, made him really popular you know, for some reason. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, you know. It's kind of what A.B. tried to do, but A.B. is a likable guy, you know, because, like I said, hood people respect hood people. You know, I might not like him as a boxer because he clowns around in the ring too much. But when it comes to, like, hood personalities, he got a likable hood personality. You know, it's a guy I could go kick it with, shoot some ball with, throw some jokes with, you know what I'm saying? He's a cool... You can't do that with Mayweather. Hey, only thing Mayweather gonna say is, Man, you broke. <laughs> you broke. You need some money. You want you want some money. He gonna be trying to clown you the whole time, and then eventually you gonna want to punch him. And these are professional boxers. That's why him. <laughs> that's why Floyd and uh, and AB can't hang out because these are two professional boxers. So Floyd probably sit there clowning him. Man, you broke. You broke. You know AB probably to the average hood dude. AB got what probably about ten. Fifteen twenty million dollars. He can clown the average. He can clown me. We sitting there hanging out. He can clown me. I mean, you broke. You broke. He can do me like that. 
But when he goes sitting next to Floyd Mayweather, it's Floyd Mayweather doing that to him. You know, he got fifteen million dollars, but Floyd Mayweather got four hundred million dollars. So. <laughs> but when you do that to a professional boxer, dude, we don't want to punch you in your mouth. So it's di <laughs> it's different, man. It's different. So it's you know, I hang out. I ain't gonna fight AB. I probably beat him up on some hood shit, on some hood stuff. But uh. You know, I might probably beat him up on some hood stuff, but even because he's a rich boxer, he and his, you know, in that frame of mind, you feel like you have the right to clown people that are lower than you. So I just think that's funny, man. I think that's why AB and uh, Floyd don't never hang out. And uh, you know, the, at the end of the day, let me get back to the topic, man. I just started joking and stuff. I let me get back to the topic. I feel like you know. Manny Pacquiao, this is going to be the end of Adrian Broner's career. With all that said, this is going to be the end of A.B.'s career. A.B. doesn't really take boxing too seriously anymore. He's gotten into a lot of trouble in his life over the past two years. You've had people shooting at him. You know, he's uh, punching people outside of boxing. You know, he's getting sued. You know, so uh, I feel like if Manny Pacquiao knocks this man out, it's bad, bad Adrian Broner. There's nobody else even left for him to fight for real. I mean, who else do you want to see AB put up against other than Pacquiao? You know what I'm saying? If you can't take the Pacquiao fight seriously, you ain't going to take nobody's fight seriously. So, But uh, maybe we'll get back into that whole Floyd AB friendship topic one day, man. That's Ali Lamb, Box of Talk for now. We out of here.